Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys my experiences on Righteous Fire Inquisitor. It's been a long time since I have revisited the Righteous Fire Inquisitor. Pretty much since Juggernaut got reworked, I've been on the Jug train, so I think around like six months or so. And boy do I miss playing Inquisitor. It is a bit more complex to build, especially in SSF, but to me it does feel much more rewarding. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you pick Inquisitor or Juggernaut. Both of them are going to be able to clear all the content in the game, and it's kind of really up to you if you are struggling with certain parts of the game, right? So with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this Minotaur map. So it's got a uh, monster damage. I don't think multi-proj does anything for Minotaur. Chance to avoid ailments lowers our single target quite a bit and our clear, but that's totally fine. I can't maven it because I just mavened it and did a video and forgot to click the record button. So uh, don't tell anyone. Also, for people who are going to ask on the major differences between the two, uh, remember if you go to my website at pox.net over here, um, you can just search Inquisitor, click the question, and it will spit out an answer for you here. And you can see kind of like pros and cons between them. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. So this character is in SSF. I think we made it about uh, 12 days ago. We have played for about two days and 10 hours, and we are at about eight deaths. Um, a lot of the deaths could have been avoidable. You know, I kind of just play casually. So um, whenever we're doing stupid stuff, there is a good chance that we die. We've also acquired all of our Void Stones, including Uber Elder, uh, was deathless. So I was pretty happy with that. Did about five Mavens until I got my Legacy of Fury. Now I'm running a map that makes them avoid the Legacy of Fury effect, so you can't even see it. Feels good, man. So part of why I wanted to play Inquisitor again, with the exception of the fact that it's been, you know, like I said, about six months, I really do just miss the uniqueness of an Inquisitor. Um, playing a hybrid build in Path of Exile, hybrid utilizing, you know, life and energy shield, is just a very enjoyable experience, you know? Energy Shield is something that's unique to Path of Exile, and sure, other games have it in different ways. It's, I don't know, it just makes it feel a little bit more uh, interesting, I guess you could say, right? Let's just go ahead and zoom to the boss here. So I don't know how well I'll be able to face tank it, but I will do my best to just straight face tank it. Now, as this character is in SSF, uh, we do not have an Aegis Aurora, we are not using Melding of the Flesh, and we have no Cluster Jewels. Yeah, the, you can see the map mod is really dicking my damage here because I can't shock him. Oh, there's a shock. Wait, 50% shock? Aren't I just 50% shock Minotaur? Wait, what? I'm actually... Somebody's going to have to figure that one out for me. I don't know how I just applied a 50% shock, but uh, that's a thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the character. So first, I'm going to hover over the gear, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you my skill tree because there are a few modifications from the standard uh, standard version. By standard, I mean like regular version, not like standard league. Okay, so first, I'm going to address the, the big thing here. I got an Ashes off of my first Eater kill. Um, you do not need Ashes for this whatsoever. In fact, I am using it terribly. Um, somewhat intentionally because I want to mimic stuff. I could have just unequipped it and redid some gear, but that's a lot of work. Basically, uh, what I'm using the ashes for is just not specking this right here. Um, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, it, in reality, I could just get a new amulet. So say I had a plus one gems amulet with a little bit of damage over time multi or fire damage. I could just allocate charisma because that's what I would want to do late game anyway. So Ashes is not really giving me much of a benefit right now, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, so with that being said, let's talk about the gear here. So we're level 97. I picked up my weapon off the floor. I unveiled it, so it's got good fire damage implicit or uh, good fire damage prefix, and then double dot multi. I'm also not using Crucible to my advantage intentionally. I have like very minor things with Crucible. So here we have like onslaught on the weapon, but realistically, you could get a brutal restraint for onslaught. And I'm gaining like 60 decks here, but my gear is not amazing, so I could make this up very, very easily. So over here, I've got Blood Rage, Tempest Shield, and Frost Blink. Um, Frost Shield is 
crazy strong with Inquisitor because of their energy shield recovery. It's basically another defensive layer while you are fighting bosses or tanky targets. For as long as you're in this frost shield, you take reduced damage from targets in it and targets shooting out. So very, very underrated, and I can't believe I forgot about this for Inquisitor. Over here with our helmet, we harvest crafted it. So basically reforge fire on Elder Helm until Conk burn, and we've got fire trap, trap and mine, combustion, life tap. Um, over here are Ashes. Again, if you just simply have a plus one spell skills or plus one fire, spell skills will be better because it gives you armor on Determ and buffs up your malevolence um, with either like Dot Multi or even just like big resistances, good suffixes, totally fine. Shield, uh, very, very important on Inquisitor. I like Champion Kite Shield because of the uh, block base. It's important because you are most likely going to need this mastery, which I don't have at the moment, for... 1% chance to block per 5 block chance, so 25 hits a breakpoint, so that's very big. The reason I don't have that is because I can't get Determ effect on my body, so I have block there. Anyway, though, life gain on block is very important for an Inquisitor because Juggernaut gets um, unbreakable, and we don't have something like that, so we need an extra way to mitigate damage, and that's where we turn into block, uh, and that right here puts us at 75 block with 75 spell block with recover 4% life on block. Uh, right here in our crucible, all we really have is 20 energy shield. This is not doing anything. We're overblocked anyway and I'm intentionally kind of keeping it simple like this. Our body armor, really nothing special. It was the first six link that dropped for us um, using that big uh, conversion node pre for the prefix to mitigate physical damage. And then I've got mono reservation uh, suffix with loathing essence. It's not really a very good body armor, right? Over here, we've got Life Tap, Awakened Ellie Focus, Ink AoE, Burn Damage, with Affliction, Righteous Fire. Uh, my rings are just straight up for resistances. Nothing super special there. Boots, we got Legacy of Fury, dropped it on her fifth kill. Um, Ellie Weakness here, only because of Ashes, otherwise you'd use Flammability. Faster Attacks, Life Tap, and Shield Charge. And then on her gloves, I've got Frost Shield, Molten Shell, Life Tap, and Infernal Cry. Well, that was Tempest Shield up here. That's funny when I gave the explanation. Um, so here's a little understanding of kind of what Frost Shield does if you want to peek at it. And then Belt. Now, normally I would go with a beefed up Stygian Vice or an Immortal Flesh or a Replica Soul Tether. Uh, Replica Soul Tether requires me to heist. I'm actually testing it out, trying to, trying to heist basically. Ended up accidentally crafting kind of a God Tier Belt, but it's actually not amazing for Inquisitor because the percent life regen life recovery rate does not work with pious path so you'll notice here my life regen is 1.5k and my es is 1.3k and that is solely because of the recovery affix the recovery is not considered life regen so it doesn't work with pious path so you're much better off i feel like you know you would want to use an immortal flesh um replica soul tether amazing belt for inquisitor as well um, the biggest draw on Replica Soul Tether is it frees up a Legion Jewel here, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. So then I've got the gloves. Gloves are always very big with RF, right? Percent life regeneration, um, good sources of resistance. I try to get Dexterity on there as well. Your Implicits are very big, so Fire Exposure, Fire Multi. Um, yeah, so with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the Passive Tree. One of the big things that brings all of this together is... Corrupted Soul. Now, this is a combo of Corrupted Soul with Life Gain on Block. I don't really have this in the regular version, I'm pretty sure, on my Inquisitor. And the prime reason is, in Trade League, you have easy access to just buying a Aegis Aurora. But Aegis Aurora does not work with Corrupted Soul, you will just die. And the primary reason for that is, when damage is bypassing your ES and hitting your life pool, Aegis is replenishing your ES, not your life. So you will just die, right? So you never really want to do that. But in an SSF scenario, you can get Corrupted Soul in two ways. You can get it through Legion, so that would be your four ways to get your Timeless Jewel, which is your uh, Glorious Vanity with Doriani, or you can heist for your Replica Soul Tether. If you go the heist route, you save a lot of skill points, and you can actually insert a Lethal Pride or a Brutal Restraint here and or here. Ideally here, because on Inquisitor, we get one, two, three, four, five notables, so incredibly strong. Uh, really, really excited for that. But overall, I have to say, I do miss Inquisitor a lot. It's been a long time since I've played Inquisitor, and I think I'm back on the Inquisitor hype train. Um, really excited to see these patch notes. I don't think they'll be touching Inquisitor. I don't think they'll be touching RF. 
maybe they touch fire trap for like the 17th time only time will tell right not really much else we can do there um so yeah that's pretty much about it very excited super excited to play this character um another thing about it is for sanctum league right sanctum league uh wants you to do a little bit more damage so inquisitor will have a bit of an edge there um since you get a bit more damage than juggernaut in those early and mid stages of the game so for people wanting to squeeze more damage in sanctum but still play rf inquisitor is definitely going to be your boy anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope i didn't leave out too much i had to retake this and it always kind of screws things up so Yep. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except for Sundays. See you guys all tomorrow.